Hello everyone, it's Neon Black Game here with another YouTube video. And today, as you can see, I'm playing some more Clash of Clans. And today, I'm going to show you a attack replay by me um, against Haynes or Hannes. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And Clan 111. And so this is just showing off how good balloons are at lower levels. If you have higher level ones, they are amazing, as you can see by the video title. If you haven't seen already, so here we go. Let's see. So this has a pretty decent amount of loot: 250k gold. 200k elixir and 300k, I mean 300k dark elixir, wow, no, 300k dark elixir, gosh dang it, I said it twice, sorry banging on the chair for a second, that might have got caught up in the mic, 300 dark elixir, wow, that was hard to say, that was crazy, anyway, here we go, so I have a barge army with my two heroes and clan castle, so I first drop barbs on the outside to get those builder huts out of the way, and here we go, I'm trickling in some archers to snipe out those extra buildings before I drop in my other troops, and so here we go. As you can see, it's pretty darn decent amount of loot for Town Hall Level 8. So say if I was Town Hall Level 8 also, I would have gotten probably um, around 300k instead of just 250k. But still, this is great. Wow, that barbarian just dodged that spring trap over, over there. That was pretty skill. I'm probably going to do a slow-mo that right after this. The barbarian's coming in. Oh, that dodge, though. Okay. So here we go, dropping in some more archers, and don't worry, the main part of this video is coming up really quickly. So here we go, just sniping out his, some of his gold swords and elixir swords. Sorry if you hear my uh, computer noise in the background, it's because literally it's the loudest it's ever been, but this microphone helps cancel it out a little bit. But anyway, here we go, dropping in some more barbarians and archers. So you can see, I still have around 80 left. Now, um, here we go, taking out some of his outer defenses, just sniped out that air defense and trying to snipe out that air defense too here we go this is the main part of the video watch closely look how many j just watch so as you can see here i took out one air defense because it was closer to the outside because people who are newer to the game do not know that air defenses are super important but they are after this this guy should be able to watch this video if you see it and please put your air defenses in the middle actually keep them out there to keep getting destroyed so as you can see here he only has one air defense left so i put that down i only have i think six or five balloons in my clan castle um, that looks like five to me. Five balloons. Look how much damage they do. Look at this. They're OP, and as you can see, he only has a couple air, uh, um, archer towers and stuff that shoots air. So they're completely OP. Just watch how many defenses they take down. So they already took down one, two, three defenses. Here we go. Taking out that cannon, that's four. Taking out that wizard tower, that's five. Here we go. That that is about to go down. Ooh, that mine just took one out. Oh, but that one goes down because the balloon was distracting it. The cannon in the middle is about to go down. They're doing a great job of distracting the air attacking. Oh, wow, that was fast. Did you see two balloon drops and boom. This mortar is about to go down. One balloon. One balloon drop. Let's see. How many bombs is this going to take? Boom. One bomb. And then that concludes that attack. As you can see here, those balloons are completely OP. They take out around half half of their entire defenses even though i only had five balloons and yes that was five max balloons against the town of level eight and you can request for those too i'd actually recommend requesting for those balloons if you're any town hall level because balloons are completely op so i hope you enjoyed this video this is neon black gaming and see you in the next video